Justin, obviously uh, you've been pitching very well, but the entire staff uh, collectively is on a terrific roll right now. We just had the numbers up on the screen before he had joined us. Oh, there's an error maybe on Adam Dunn. It looked like it was in his glove, and he just didn't come up with it. We'll see how it scored, but Cabrera's aboard to start the bottom of the second for the Tribe. Getting back to that point, though, Justin, uh, the starters have collectively been on a good roll. What is it? about you guys now as a group are you feeding off of each other yeah you know i definitely think there's something to that you know i think in the uh the overall sense you know we had a little bit of a breather you know through the all-star break and just be able to come back and i don't know feel the extra energy because all year we've been pitching pretty good uh we've just been able to do a better job of throwing strikes here in the second half well, it's sort of fun when you have that friendly competition going one through five when guys get out there and they pitch a good game. Everybody else wants to go out and do the same thing, don't they? Oh, for sure. I mean, that's that's definitely one of the things you always want to do. And I think, you know, we have such a, a great camaraderie here, too, that, you know, one guy goes out there, does his thing. The next guy, you know, friendly wants to just do that much better. And I think you've seen that, especially since the uh, since the All-Star break. Ryan Rayburn. Is it, is it, is it raining up, up there for you guys? I feel like it might be <laughs> raining down here. Raining where's seeds. A, where's Avilas? Is he around? He's supposed to be playing today. That's why he's we can do I, this. I, I think he's good. I think it's raining some seeds, maybe a little water. A few pitchers down there in the corner? Oh, who knows? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's a rookie doing that to you. You better go get him. Hey, you know, I've done good. I've done worse to them. So <laughs> Three and all the count here to Ryan Rayburn. 14 shutouts as a staff leads the major leagues. If I'd have told you back in March when we left spring training that this staff would be leading all the baseball in shutouts going into the month of August, would you have bought into that? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if I would have bought into to that necessarily in the sense, but as far as us having a solid pitching staff, um, it was one of those if we would do exactly what we'd hope we could do, I think, you know, we were pretty excited about what might take place. And, and again, kind of going back to what we were talking about, if, if you put together what we've done since the All-Star break, I mean, I'll, this isn't necessarily a fluke of what the guys can do. This is, this is what they can do, and, and this is what excites me as we continue to go on. You know, you guys seem to pitch so well in this ballpark. Is there something special about this park? Because it, it, it's fun to watch you guys here. Off the glove of Gillespie, and the Indians has dribble Cabrera is going all the way to third, and now down to second goes Ooh, Rayburn. Nice. Aggressive base running, and the Indians are in business here in inning number two. Gillespie went to the backhand side. Justin, do you have a good look at that one? Yeah, he just went to the backhand, hopped up a little bit, went off the heel of his glove. Tough That's play going to his left side. Yeah, he's going to backhand. That's going to be a double, and rightfully so. Not an easy play. That would have had to be a, a, an old lay play where it goes in the glove. Cabrera does a nice job of picking up the baseball and getting all the way to third base. And then in turn, Ryan just continued to go to second base. So he got second and third. Nobody out and a chance to take the lead right now. And those uh, you see right there, those are some of the little things that are going to help us as we continue to win. You know, the guys picking up the bases right there. You know, these guys, this has been a really good base running team most of the year. Going first to third, second to home, and, and also stealing bases as well. Justin, you said the other day after the ball game that, you know, when you're matched up against a guy like you, Darvish, for example, he said, I, you said, I can't worry about what he's doing. I can't worry about the other side. I just have to focus on, you know, what I'm doing. But as that game got late, I made the comment on the air. I said, you, you look like a thoroughbred who could, uh, could smell the finish line. As the game gets late and you realize it's a one nothing game, do you kind of reach down deep and know, hey, I've got to finish this thing out here? Uh, I, I don't know if it's necessarily the 1-0 ball game. I, I think late in the game when you, when you got the lead, I, I think there's something along those lines where it's like, hey, I want to – I want to finish this. You know, I don't know how much I got left, uh, but I want to make sure I go. And kind of my mentality is: is we, you get to the seventh, eighth, and ninth. If you if you make it all the way to complete it, you know, to to close out. You know, no longer are you the starter, but you're trying to close out each inning. And um, you know, that's been that's been a, a mentality that's been working pretty good so far this year. Yeah, because you only had four strikeouts going into that sixth inning, and then you struck out four in a row. It almost seemed like you just reached down, found another gear. Well, and it's one of those two where when it's a 1-0 ball game, you know, their offense is trying to work hard to, to sneak out one run. And, you know, whether or not they're going to press a little bit or I'm going to press a little bit kind of determines what's going to happen. And just, you know, happened that you know, I was able to stay relaxed and they were probably pressing a little more than they probably like to. 
Well, Bob Feller always told me, he says, you'll see the difference. Uh, you show me that guy that can close out a game from the seventh inning on in a one-run game, and that's a winner. <laughs> and, and, and he's right. I mean, when you go in there, that, that's a different breed when you can go into that seventh and get your outs when needed. And right. obviously, Justin, we know a lot, a lot of that's out of the starters' hands. You know, the manager, the pitching coach, the organization, they've got their charts. They know how many pitches. You know, if, you, if it was up to you, you'd probably want to finish every game you pitch. Yeah, more or less. Uh, but I think, you know, the more and more as, as we get going throughout this season and as Tito sees us as we go out there, he kind of understands what we look like. You know, so we could be at, you know, 86, 87 pitches, and he's like, you know what, I, I might need to bring somebody in here. You know, we might be at 110. He's like, you know, I feel like this guy's still got something going. Line drive to Vicieto and left. Tagging third, coming home is Cabrera. The throw is not in time, and not only does Cabrera score, but a very alert and heads up Ryan Rayburn saw that throw well over the cutoff man, so he tagged at second, and now he's at third, and there's only one out in the inning with the Indians up one to nothing. Well, that's the mistake made by Vicieto in left field. I mean, he tries to throw the guy out at home plate. Uh, the probability is not. But, you know, you got to get the ball done, at least hit your cutoff, man, because that gives that guy an opportunity to get to third base. Now there's only one out. That's not a good play by the left fielder. It's a good job by Santana to get the RBI home. The Indians will take a one nothing lead. And now they have a man at third base, which brings the infield in. And the batter is Mark Reynolds. In that DH spot here tonight with the infield drawn in as Rick mentioned. And Danks delivers low ball one. So the Indians now have set the longest streak in franchise history by scoring first for the 16th consecutive game. Nice. Justin, what does that do for you as a starter? Does it... Does it register in your mind when you've got the early lead, whether it's one run or whether it's three or four runs? Does it matter to you? I think unconsciously it does. Uh, whether you think about it or not, it kind of gives you that little extra comfort to, to be a little more aggressive that just in case, you know what, if I happen to leave one over and a guy hits one out or hits something somewhere that, you know, it's still just a tie ball game instead of us, you know, being behind as the game goes on. I, I don't know if you really think about it, but unconsciously I, I imagine there's something in there. You are an absolute pro, by the way. 2-1 pitch. People don't realize how hard that is to maintain your concentration when you've got people firing seeds at you, throwing water on you, and you got laser focus. That's why you can pitch this is, in front this of 50,000 people. Yeah, huh? That's what we're trying to do out there on the mound. That's right. <laughs>